Hey guys, this is Kirk from Go Make Music, and today I'm going to show you how to comp tracks, whether a single track like vocals or multiple tracks like drums. Basically what this is, is doing takes and then taking the best parts of each take and compiling it into a master take. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is right click on your track and make sure that in the track header components track alternatives is checked. What you'll do is you'll see a little icon. This is your track alternatives drop down menu. We'll get to that in a second. Now once you're armed and you're ready to go, your levels are good, you hit return and you hit R to record. One, one, one. All right, great. Then we hit click and we do a new take. Hit return, hit R. Two, two, two. Great. Next thing you do, hit this again. We'll do another one. And guess what I'm going to say? Four, four, four. Tricked you. Okay. So now we got our three takes and we can view them all by clicking this and showing inactive. Do not delete inactive, show inactive. So now we have our takes and we can listen to them individually by hitting these power buttons. One, 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 two, two, two. If I let this go, four, four, four. Okay. Now what I like to do before I comp is I'm going to click this and I'm going to do an actually a new blank track. Okay. And then I'm going to rename this track vocal comp. All right. Then what I can do is I can listen through and say, oh, I really like this one. I really like part of this one. Or I like this part of this one. And I like to go basically like verse by verse and then do chorus by chorus, pre-chorus by pre-chorus, just take it a section at a time instead of listening to the whole song. Um, and it, a lot of times that'll go faster. So once you picked out your best parts, what you're going to do is highlight with the marquee tool, click it, and then you're going to option, click, and shift. And what shift does is it locks it in place as you drag it up. So that was my one. One, then I'm going to grab my two, so I'm just going to highlight, click, option, click, shift. And it locks it as you drag it up. And then grab my four, option, click, shift, and there it is. Okay, so after that I might go through and do some crossfades, do any edits that I need to do to make sure the transitions are smooth. But then I can hide this just by clicking this and hit return. One, two, four. All right, great. So that's doing individual vocals or if you were doing like a lead guitar solo or something like that. Now, what if you have multiple tracks that you're recording at once and you want to compile the best parts of each performance like drums? This can get really complicated, but I'm going to show you how to manage that. So the first thing you want to do is set up a group for these multiple tracks. So you highlight them all, open up your mixer, and here you'll see group. And you just click and do group new. Then you can double click here and we'll call it drums. And then you want to make sure that editing is selected. If you're going to be doing any tightening, um, you know, time stretching, you want that checked. If not, don't worry about it and then track alternatives. You want to make sure that's tracked. Also, I like to have the record enable um, in my input monitoring checked. Okay. So now we're good to go. We're going to hit R for one and it does it for all of them. And then we're going to record our first take. One, two, four. Okay. What I like to do in Logic to manage it a little bit better is to color each take. So I'm going to call these purple and then I'm going to go here and do a new take. Hit return, hit record. One, 
two, four. All right, and then we'll make these ones. Oh, to do the color, I'm sorry, option C pulls up your palette and we'll make these light blue. Okay, so now I will un-enable these. And as long as they're highlighted, I can click here and say show inactive. Now I'm also going to click here and I'm going to do new and I'm going to rename this my drum comp. Right? So now I can go through same way and if I hit the power button, it, it lets me listen to this take, the purple take. And then here is the blue take. And I can say, you know what, I liked the beginning of the blue take. I can click, option, shift, drag it up. And then I liked this part of the first take. Option, shift, click, drag it up. Now, let's say I like the rest of that for the most part, but there was this one section here that I liked. If you're going to start dragging stuff on top of other parts of your take, you want to make sure that no overlap is selected here. And I like having this snap on smart. Okay. So click option shift and you, sorry, option click shift, option shift, option click shift. All right. So there you go. Now, once you've done that, you want to highlight all the tracks and then you can hide and now you get your comp. One quick word is that comping is about trying to grab the most energetic, most engaging, most emotional parts of the performance and turning it into one master take. You have to make sure that you're getting good recordings and get it right at the source while you're doing it. But this is a wonderful way to really create um, that magic of every single part of a performance being the most engaging and the most emotional. It's not about just fixing things. It's about finding that emotion. I like to think of myself as like mining, like a gold miner, mining for emotion when you're doing these types of things. So there you go. Have fun with it. If you have any questions about this or other things with music making, just leave them in the comments. If you want to get more free tutorials, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel or check out some of the free courses at www.gomakemusic.org. All right, till next time, go make music.